Hey, my name is Charles. I'm at a customer site to show how easy it is to set up our robot using our interface. Now I'm going to show you how to log in. We are using the default admin user for this one. The first you see when you log in is the overview of dashboards. We only have one dashboard as default, the default dashboard. Here you get the basic information about the robot. We have the name, how much power it has, and a few other uh, informations. We have a joystick where you can use and drive the robot manually. And we have the map where you can see what the robot sees. On the map we see on the uh, interface, we can see that there's these red dots all around the robot in the center of the map. All of these data is live laser scan data that the robot records as it goes. The robot uses these data for navigation, uh, both among dynamic obstacles, which would be me, and static objects would be the shelves behind me. Now we'll show you how to make a map. We go to Setup menu and Maps. In this menu page, we can see there's a default configuration site and a default configuration map. We have to make a new map to fit this facility. Now we have a blank map, which is ready for the recording. Now we'll use the robot to create the map. As you can see, uh, while the robot drives through the map, it expands and builds upon the map through the laser scanners. This is the way that we build up the maps and you just have to drive the robot through your factory to get the full map. To make our robots do stuff, we have something called missions. You set the missions up through the interface as well as everything else. In this case, I'm going to make a simple mission, moving to a position and going to a charging station. Now we'll show you how to remove a dynamic obstacle. These are the pallets that we saw earlier, so now they will be removed because they are a, what we describe as a dynamic obstacle. I have already added a charging station to the map. Now I will show how to add a position. Now we'll make the robot execute my mission. First it moves to the position, and as you can see in the map, the robot can see its surroundings through the laser scanners. Next up it will go to the charging station. After the position, it will move to the charging station for charging. To help the robot navigate through the maps and to prevent them from going to certain areas, we can add zones to the map. In this case, I have added a forbidden zone, just as an illustration to show how I can make the robot go around it. We have a variety of different zones, such as preferred and unpreferred, and I'm going to use the forbidden zone as an example. Now you see the robot actually executing the mission, and you see how it is deviating the forbidden zone that I put into the map. <laughs> 